single one of you for taking the trouble to come down here to block this street and say, we are standing against the collective punishment and bombardment of the people of Gaza. Due to Israeli siege, hospital have already run out of resource to treat the wounded. No electricity, no water. Gaza is being bombed an average five minutes of every strike. Can you imagine how the people of Gaza can live this type of life? Palestine has no navy, no air force, no army. This is not a war, this is a genocide. Israel has nuclear weapons. Israel has chemical weapons, which it uses. They are illegal weapons. Palestine has been under occupation for over 65 years. Gaza has been under siege. Every single day there's relentless violence, there's relentless killing. Since 2000, over 1,500 Palestinian children have been killed by the Israelis. On average, one every three days. We have people in villages all over the West Bank losing their land, losing their water, losing their farms, losing their work in order to give way to settlements that steal the land and steal the water and steal the hope of young Palestinians. The peace process, so-called, has been deliberately sabotaged by the Israeli policy of continuing the settlements. And then in Gaza, we have one and a half million people, short of food, short of water, short of medicines, accompanied by drones all the time, accompanied by massive fences and walls, and accompanied by machine gun emplacements, and we now have those people being bombed by Israeli planes and dying in their dozens, if not their hundreds. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice. No peace. No justice. We call on all Jews around the world to demand that the Israeli government immediately halt this attack on Gaza. We demand the British government to oppose the Israeli attacks in Gaza and to open safe passageway to allow a humanitarian aid to enter Gaza. The British government was quick to take action and sanctions against Putin and Russia when will they take sanctions against these criminals? Next Tuesday, there's going to be a demonstration outside the BBC. BBC, no more bias. We will be outside. We're on your case. From this moment on, I will not pay that license fee. They can take me to court. They can send me to jail. The BBC would not exist if you weren't forced to pay for it. So get there on Tuesday at half past five and demand your money back or the truth from the BBC. We are starting now to mobilize for a demonstration next Saturday that will bring tens of thousands of people onto the streets of London. Three, three. Free, 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 free